everybody. Welcome back to the Knit for Brains podcast. I am Alicia Gifford. I'm Laura Brady. And this is episode 32 of the Knit for Brains podcast, which is a episode knitting podcast about <laughs> knitting and crocheting and whatever, blah, blah, blah. She's going to be tongue-tied. This is her second take. This is take two, and we are... We recorded the whole thing, and nothing was there. We are faking this enthusiasm no. for your entertainment. <laughs> Okay, so you can find us on Instagram, Ravelry, Facebook, and Etsy. Yes, yes, you can. Uh, we come to you 60 miles south of Chicago in Bradley, Illinois. Alrighty. Okay, you want to tell them what we have going on in our Ravelry group? Ravelry group is booming. It's the bee's knees. It is the place to be right now. We got tons of chatter. We got tons of finished objects in our hatathon threads. Hatathon runs until March 31st, so you have two more weeks. We will be announcing all of the winners on April 1st episode. We have quite a few prizes. Uh, if you watch previous episodes, we do show the prizes. Um, as of this morning, we had 67 adult FOs, 53 baby FOs for a total of 120 entries, which is great. That's wonderful. Um, and there are some beautiful hats in there. There's like Keller work hats and everything. I've been totally amazed. I've looked up a few of the patterns, um, added some to my library. There's some really pretty things. Um, also, would you like to tell them what else is going to start on April 1st? April 1st, we're starting a mid-a-thon. Yes. <laughs> so all you guys that did the hats and you have leftovers, do some fingerless mitts. Mm -hmm. um, they can be any size, um, fingerless, full mittens, pretty much whatever. Any sort of mittens or gloves um, can get you an entry. Uh, we already do have one prize that has been donated to us from Knitting Left. Let me grab that. <clears throat> It is really, really cute. So Knitting Left is now making mitten blockers. Would you hold that? These have the uh, dragonfly on them. They do come with the little thumb that you simply tie with a, like a thin piece of yarn or whatever um, through the hole here and the hole here. And you will leave it loose. That way when you put your mitten or glove in there, you stick this into the, um, the thumb hole. And, of course, there's two of them. So. They are very high-quality item. Um, I also have a set that was uh, gifted to me from somebody, which I will show you in my acquisitions. Um, I'm sure you remember I have the Knit for Brain Sock Blockers, also made from Knitting Loft. And really I nice love them. Quality. Very nice quality. I can't say enough about her work. Well, she generously donated these as a prize for a metathon which is so exciting. It was so generous. Thank you so much. Um, so this is already one prize that has came in. If there are any other makers um, out there of anything that you'd like to donate a prize, just get a hold of us. Um, Ravelry, Instagram, you can find us pretty much everywhere. So there's that. And that's going to run, um, we believe, from April 1st until May 10th. Mm -hmm. And then on the episode um, after that, we will actually, I think, which is the 13th, perhaps we would announce the winners for that we do have another um cal in the works yep. which we will tell them about at a later date uh so there's gonna be a lot of fun things this year yep. um in the ravelry group so a lot of good uh prizes and stuff um also we are doing a giveaway this episode i'm quite excited about and it could actually tie in really nicely if you want to participate with the Mitathon because I know this person actually does have um, a pattern for fingerless mitts. Molly of Molly Klein Design has generously donated two of her patterns. So if you go to our Ravelry thread, there's going to, or our Ravelry group, there's going to be a thread that says Molly Klein Pattern Giveaway. There's a link in there. If you click on the link, it's going to take you to um, all of Molly's designs. I believe she has about six patterns now. There's um, shawls, wraps, hats, socks, fingerless mitts. Look at her at her patterns and then just look, comment and let us know if you were chosen, which pattern you would like. And then on our April 1st episode, we will choose two people randomly to receive one of her patterns. 
So we're going to have a lot going on on our April 1st episode, for sure. There's going to be a lot of, a lot of fun things. So that, that is great. Thank you so much, Molly. We really appreciate it. And I will actually be showing two of her designs in this episode that I have finished. I think that's it for administrative kind of stuff. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and get it started. And uh, we will start with FOs. Yep. Anything? Nope. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to FO it. <laughs> Pretty much. I have quite a few. So, sorry, the dog's in here. <laughs> she doesn't want to be. Oh, first off, I do want to show you, you guys, I had showed you previously my hat from Hypnotic Yarns. Cheryl had designed, oh, what was the name of this? No idea. I can't remember. It's in the last episode. I had sent it um, over to Wendy from the Baba Yaya podcast. Hey, Wendy. Thank you for blocking it. It was a little bit um, short previously. Like, it fit my head, but it did not fit Alicia's. So, she blocked it. She has a um, man size head. So, she um, kind of wet it and pulled it down. And she sent me a picture where I was like, oh, no. Because <laughs> it, it looked really big. Um, it opened up the, um, the holes very nicely. And it did shrink up a little bit when it, once it dried and she took it off. So, you want to try it on and see? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a lot better than what it was before. Definitely. Good job, Wendy. Yeah, because before it didn't uh, even hit your ears very well. So, so in this now it actually is coming down further. So, and at me, it actually, oh yeah, it does actually. Because covered it, it, ears. It covered my ears before, but it didn't, Alicia. So, depending on like what size head, you know. When you have a big head like me. So, uh, even though you guys have seen this before, I, we just kind of wanted to. Um, show you what happened if you do actually block it. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, so moving on to my FOs for this time. If you guys remember, um, last time I was working on Freya's Freedom. Did I say it right again? Freya's? Freya. Freya, sorry. I'm awful with names, guys. You guys know this. Freya's Freedom, which is this beautiful cable hat. Um, it is a free pattern on Ravelry. So I was using um, a hat kit from Arkansas Yarn Co. It's the Buck Naked Kit, which came with the DK weight yarn. This is what I have left. It is in sparkle. And it also came with a pom-pom. I didn't yarn the entire time. I last have time. to say, I think this came out beautiful. Oops, I get the tag in there. Really love it. Uh, this way. So all that lovely cables on there and Alicia's going to model it for you. This is a very nice hat <clears throat> because you can wear it turned up where it's more of a fitted hat. Here we go again. We did this last time too. Um, where it's more of a fitted hat like so or you can turn down the brim <laughs> and not see a thing and pull it back and then it's a slouchy hat. And it was really funny because I showed it to um, my husband because I was so excited. I'm like, look how pretty this is. And he's like, oh, that's really nice. Are you going to wear it? No. I think it's beautiful. Um, I'm not a pom-pom girl for sure. Uh, I love the cable work. I would probably, I think I'm going to knit it again because I do love it. I enjoyed the knit. It was fun. It was very interesting, but not like really difficult. Um, I would do mine without a pom-pom and probably in blue. Like a dark midnight blue. Yeah. Or even like a gray, like a charcoal. Um, and I think I would probably wear it because if you guys noticed, I had my hair down today. So a couple things happened. I went and had my hair highlighted. And then of course the very next day I threw it in a ponytail and you couldn't even tell it was done. Yeah. So, cause I'm not, I wasn't able to wear my hair down before because it was just so, um, frizzy and just it had issues so I ended up going back and I had a Brazilian blowout done who gets a Brazilian blowout <laughs> I do I got a Brazilian so, blowout guys, guys look at my what that does is it relaxes your hair <laughs> and I can wash and shampoo it get out of the shower and just grab my hair dryer and my fingers and blow it dry five minutes and it looks like this so it will be down a lot more often now it will last for 12 weeks very happy about it. Um, we'll probably have it done again, definitely. I've worn it down every day since it's been done. Um, 
and I'm quite enjoying it. If I had enough hair, I would. So other thing I wanted to mention was, if you guys notice, we got something new back here. My husband ordered for my birthday, which yes, it isn't until May, uh, but it came in and he could not wait to give it to me. The, he learned about this on one of his podcasts. It's actually called Fracture, where a picture is printed on glass. So he resized our logo and everything and sent it off to them and they printed it on glass. And I think it came out really, really cool. I think so it too. It is really neat. So he got that hung up already and everything. So there's that. So I have more FOs. I'm not done yet, guys. I did good this time. So last time I did show you and I was hoping to have it done and I wasn't sure if I was going to, but I did it is the Michigan Avenue Wrap by Molly Klein Design. Now you will notice <laughs> hers is just three repeats and it's quite wide that way. It looks like a wrap. I am a very tight knitter as you guys well know. So I did use Molly's yarn, her um, DK Weight, which is the Sweet Tea yarn. And, and she did it in cucumber. Cucumber. At the hop and poodle skirt at the hop oh. and poodle skirt which played so nicely together it is done but it isn't done folks so i did bring it over yesterday for um alicia to block and it is blocked i did not weave in the ends beforehand because we needed to aggressively block it to see if we could get some width on it which we did get some um it looks more like a scarf which which is fine. It's, it's very fine. it's very wearable. So I still need to weave in the ends and then I need to make tassels for it. But we're gonna show it to you anyways, and then once I get it done, like I do the finishing touches, we'll show you again. Alright. It is quite long. I did get the length pretty well. So there's the end of it. <sighs> oh, sorry. And basically it's the cucumber and then goes into at the hop, into the uh, poodle skirt. And then it starts repeating and repeating and repeating until you come to a point. Now this point is going to have a tassel and then at the other end there will be a tassel at each corner. So this really should have been a bit wider um, but because like I knit that so way. tightly but it is still very wearable um, and I think it's really cute. The colors are beautiful. I probably should. Ooh, <laughs> I probably should have went up a needle size or two, perhaps. Um, I'm still. I haven't knit a lot of stuff in DK, so I wasn't sure what my gauge would be like. Honestly, like I've kind of figured it out in finger and weight, like how many sizes I need it. I need to go up to properly hit gauge. Um, I never swatch, so I probably should since I know my knitting sometimes tends to be an issue. Uh, I've gotten better with the fingering weight. I've learned to loosen up where I can just do um, up one needle size and I'm right on. DK I really wasn't sure because like I said I haven't done a lot in DK, DK or a worsted weight so I'm still kind of figuring that out a little bit. I am quite happy with how it came out. Um, it's very squishy. The yarn is so soft. Um, really enjoyed working with that yarn. So that's one of the items. My other item was something you guys hadn't seen yet because I just started it a few days. It wasn't too long ago. And it is another Molly Klein design, which actually just got released today. I was doing a test for her and it is Mondays at the library shawl. So if you are interested in this, the pattern is now up on Ravelry. And with this, um, this is a crochet. It, Skill level is beginner. Uh, you basically just have to know how to chain, double crochet, and single crochet. So it is fairly simple. But even a um, intermediate, intermediate or advanced crocheter will enjoy this. Yeah, this is a good palette cleanser. I really enjoy doing it, and it's very addictive. Um, once you do a couple rows, you've got it down. You don't have to have the pattern nearby. Let's show this. It, it ended up gorgeous. So I opted for doing a scalloped edge on it 
there's also the option of doing a fringe. Now the yarn is, this one here of the body is Crystal Skies Hand Dyed Her Fairy Dust, which is a glimmer yarn. And the blue is Corn Flower from Twisted Owls, which is also on a sparkle. And this came out beautiful. I don't typically, or I, I, have I ever really wanted to crochet a shawl? Because um, I've never really seen one I liked, I'm going to be honest with you. That yeah. wasn't to my taste. Not to say that there aren't nice ones out there. This one, I like. I knew it was going to be pretty, <clears throat> but I didn't know it was going to be gorgeous like this. And Alicia has really taken a liking to it. Um, and Alicia does not crochet. I hate crochet stuff. So, I don't like crochet stuff. I don't like crocheting. I don't like the big holes. But she loves this one. I like this one. The minute I brought it over for her to black, she was like, <gasps> I, really I like the colors together a lot. And I like the scallop. Um, so, Alicia's going to keep this one. I told her, since she loved it so much, she could have it. Because it's not like she can pick up a crochet hook and do it herself. Oh um, although I honestly think she could. I think this would be an excellent pattern if but she I, ever wants to try to but crochet I again. But I probably wouldn't enjoy it. Um, I think you would be surprised. Don't like crochet. <laughs> so I never know what hole to stick the th I got to stab. A ton of stuff done this time, I feel. Yeah. Because both of my shawls were pretty big items. Um, this was really nice. Uh, I did take this when we were traveling. Um, I worked on it. Both patterns were something that I could work on and be able to talk and wasn't something where I had to like really, really be focused. Mm -hmm. um, so very nice, nice patterns. Um, I And this just, it came out beautiful. It really did. Um, so that's that. Did I have any other FOs? That's it. I think that's it for FOs. Okay, Alicia has a whip. So I'm gonna let her talk for a bit. One whip. <clears throat> um, I was saying earlier that um, I'm just not I'm liking patterns and I like my yarn but I'm not finding patterns that I want to use with my stash yarn I'm not finding anything that's pairing well with what I desire to knit right now so I believe that is why my knitting mojo is not at its full peak, but that is fine because I am enjoying knitting you, You've socks. had this before too, and the yeah. next thing you know, you were like a knitting machine. Yeah. So and I just go through this where I just need a break from, and it happens. But this is, I gotta pick the, well, and these socks are beautiful. The yarn is gorgeous. This is beautiful, beautiful yarn. This is Honey Bee Yarn Co. Honey Bee Knits. I don't know. What is it? I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Do you have the tag? If not, I can look on my phone while you're... <laughs> no, I don't have Okay, well, keep talking about it. I will look. I know. So, the top, the pink with the speckles is, um bomb.com and then the purple at the bottom is purple people eater and yeah these are they're almost done I added quite a bit honeybee knits co okay on Etsy honeybee knit co okay because I knew I was like I feel like I'm saying it wrong and I don't want to say it wrong <laughs> um but yeah this is on her sparkle base I love her yarn I've used her yarn before. I will use it again and again. Um, and I like that they're beautiful colors. And I have tons. Tons left. Because I'm almost ready to do my binding. So she can my, do my ribbing. Another pair of socks. Or she wants to put it in, you know, with something. And mix it with something else for another project. Or even a scrappy project. Yeah. Plenty. Plenty Which we typically do end up having when we do sacks, if it's a full, the full stain, um, we have enough to make at least two pairs. Yeah. Because we do our tights a little bit more snug. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I've always had problems with my heels fitting correctly. I, I have a hard time pulling a sock on to my heel. 
Um, and I believe it's because my arch is so high. Mm -hmm. You do have very high arches. I have very high arches. So I'm going to do an afterthought heel in this and the another pair that I have done. So... So when she finishes, she by the time she's done, she's actually going to have two foes. Yeah. Which is good. So that'll be nice. Okay, whips. Oh, you did yours. Okay, I did sorry. mine. I'm losing my train of thought here. Um, it's like we've heard this before. Yes. Second time around. Okay, so I did have another project going, and I was really hopeful that I was going to have this done. I almost had and it done. I probably could have had it done, um, but I started a test knit as well today. And I did have some stuff to do for the shop and, and whatnot. So, this yarn is from Candy Coated Yarn. Shipwrecked. Shipwrecked. And that is Crafty Mama Designs. Let me show you the yarn. It's really pretty. I really like this yarn. And it matches my nail polish. Not planned. Yes. <laughs> it was planned. Last no, time really it didn't wasn't. match, so we had to wait we for We had to make sure, yeah. <laughs> so what I am knitting is the Flax Light Sweater. I am doing it in the six to nine month old um, size. The only thing that I have changed is the ribbed panel. The garter uh, panel. So I almost had the whole entire sweater knit. And... You didn't like it. I didn't. And I think it might have been because of the patterning of the, the, with the yarn. The yarn. Um, so I took it all out and I started again. Because I feel like sometimes garter with like a variegated yarn makes it almost look messy looking. Yeah, there was just something. Um, and a lot of people probably would have been, yeah. been, oh, I like that, whatever. But for me, I just, I wasn't crazy about it. Yeah. And it was really bothering me. And More of a clean. I just, I, I needed it to be different. Um, so I just ended up tearing it out, doing it over, and not doing that other panel. Just knitting it off. Look how cute it is, guys. So... We're on the ribbing right now. <laughs> we weren't. We earlier. say we because um, the last time we recorded this, Alicia started knitting the ribbing. Um, well, I finished knitting and then I yeah. had to start the ribbing. <laughs> and the, our, the sleeves right now are on waist yarn. So once the ribbing is done, all I have to do is pick up the sleeve stitches and knit the sleeves and it will be done. So I'm guessing this will actually be done for the next podcast. I'd oh, be yeah. surprised if it wasn't unless sometimes I do get distracted. We'll see. Yeah. Um, so yeah, good progress. And I just casted this on a few days ago. Yeah. Like three days ago, which is pretty good. I mean, granted it's small, but it's still, it's fingering weight yarn. So it does take a little bit of time, you know, plus the fact that I tore it completely out. <laughs> so that's that. And I have one more whip, which I just started today. <sighs> I switch bags here. She's not gonna let me knit on it anymore. So this is a test knit, but she said I could share it with you. No, you can't. And it is from Dawn Crafty Mama Designs. And it is her new shawl pattern that's gonna be coming out. And it is inspired by her daughter, Alyssa. And it's called For the Love of a Daughter, which I recommended that name so I was quite excited that she she picked that so I am using yarn at home mom 21 is the loneliest number which is a uh, Gilmore girls yarn and oh I guess I should show you the yarn <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you what it's called and it is really pretty it's all different colors in there really loving it. I don't know. I just looked at, I was like, oh, I'll just pick out whatever. Mm -hmm. She had uh, messaged me when I was sewing and I was like, okay, I'll start it today. Well, I only got like, I don't know, a half hour, half hour into it. But this is going to be, um, it is a shawl with just one skein. 
So it's perfect for those, you know, <laughs> skeins that you purchase because you just love the yarn, but you don't really have plans for it. And you don't want to knit 90 pairs of yeah. socks. And I think that's part of the reason why I made so many of Tristan's changing staircase shawls, because um, it was a very pretty shawl, but it only used one skein. Mm -hmm. I love that. I mean, because sometimes, like, don't get me wrong, I like doing uh, projects that have a few skeins, but it can be kind of hard to match up what yarns you have and not have to purchase more. Yeah. Um, I don't need to purchase more. <laughs> Mm -mm. I just know because that's my thing. I was like, I can use this yarn and this yarn, but then it's like you need two skeins of the one yarn, well, and one of the other, and I'm just like, you want to tell? Like, I've really severely been digging through my cubbies lately. I really need to straighten out the yarn a little bit. So, anyways, this is just a half hour, and look how pretty this is, guys. It's really pretty. It's got the lay. Uh, it's got garter, and then there's lace. And as it gets bigger, like as it grows, the, the lace goes. sections will grow as well. So those are going to get more and more obvious. And I love this edging along here. I think that when you block the way it, she did it, wonderful, is beautiful. So Dawn, I know you watch. So far, I am loving it. I already, this far into it, have the pattern memorized. So it's going to be a great pattern um, for but me. But she's still going to count the rows and make sure that yes. everything is correct. Um, this will be a great pattern for me for traveling, for knit night, you know, for watching TV, that sort of thing. Yeah, normally um, if I'm working on a shawl that's, you know, not a test knit or whatever, even when they have like at the end of this section, you should have this many stitches. I never count the stitches. If it ended up Right, that it, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't have a you know a spare Only, stitch or whatever. I just go with it, unless it's lace or a test knit. Um, I need to. Yeah, so I am stopping after each section and making sure that I have the right number of stitches to what she has on the pattern, because obviously that's why you want it tested, and everything is coming out great so far. I think this is going to be absolutely beautiful, and I'm already in love with it. <gasps> This is going to be done very quickly. This is going to be one of those shawls that just flies off the yeah. needle for sure. Uh, it's a wonderful pattern. I can, already, I can already say that now. And I have a feeling I will probably knit it more than once. Probably. So I was actually already eyeballing another yarn for it for like a um, fall one. Yes. So because I had like four yarns out and I had to finally go, okay, seriously, just pick one. <laughs> and then it was so funny because... This was not one of the four I had out, and I went to put the other yarns back, and I saw this one, and I'm like, oh, I think that would be pretty. <laughs> so I ended up switching up my up, up what I was using, so that's that. Um, I originally was going to start my... My butt is asleep. My Katie shop <laughs> today. But then when Dawn sent me this, I was like, oh, I want to start it right away. I was very excited about it because I had seen when she was working on hers and that and her podcast. So, yeah, okay. very excited about that. Okay, so that's all the whips I have. We're going to go ahead and do shop stuff really quick mm -hmm. and before we hit acquisitions. So, last time I did a little March... Markdown in the shop. And you guys loved it. Like, they flew out of the shop. So, I've decided to mark down a couple more items for y'all. So, and there's only two of this particular one in the shop. The Small Owl tote bag, which is canvas, inside and out. The inside is a pink canvas. As always, comes with a needle keeper. These will be 15% off. There's only two of them. <laughs> they will be marked down by the time this goes up. And then one other thing that I will mark down for you guys, and you still have time to get it um, in time for Easter because when you order, I ship out the same day typically, as long as it's not like a weekend. Mm -hmm. And that is the Peeps bag. Cute drawstring. The um, drawstrings are actually the same as the fabric on the inside, which I think is adorable. And you guys have seen, I've been using the heck out of mine. Yeah. I love it. And the inside is the green with the white and yellow polka dots. I will not be putting any more of either one of these in the shop, so what's there is there. 
All right. On to some new goodies. I did get some sewing done um, this last couple of weeks. And I will also have some more for the next podcast. But I am in love with these bags that I made this time. I want to tell you that right now. Love them. And there's actually a couple that if you don't purchase, will probably be going to me. Yeah. Without a doubt. This screams spring to me. Pink with the flowers and there's little white polka dots. The bottom is um, a bright pink. The handle is a bright pink. It is a small snap bag. But when we say small, it is a big small. Yeah. For sure. Hat, one skein shawl, possibly a two skein shawl. Yeah. Socks. And comes with the needle keeper. Mittens. And it is gorgeous. Yes. I love this one. This is one of my favorites, I have to say. So there's that. There will be a few of those in there. My next one, which also to me is very springish, is my beautiful butterflies. This is a medium size. Has butterflies and flowers. Has the zipper with the um, real nice handle. And the inside. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Sparkle. Pink sparkles. Because why not? <laughs> and as always, comes with the, the needle keeper that matches. And that is a big bag. Yep. So there is a few of those in there. This next one, Alicia really likes this one. I really like this one. Flip flaps. It's just so cute and fun. It is a small zippered with the little carrying handle. Perfect for the upcoming summer. And when you spray the break. They're real fun. I think the inside's so fun. Yes. The little diagonal stripes and all different colors that kind of match the flip flops. The flippity flops. Flippity flops. And the needle koozie, of course. This one, there's only going to be two of in the shop, just so you know right off the bat. It is really cute. All right. And then this next one is the one that Alicia has been eyeballing. I love this one. She's in love with it. And there's only one of them. Yes. There originally was two. One is being gifted to a, a dear friend. It is a vintage sewing fabric. It is my medium size, and look how stinking cute that is. It's wonderful. And it is hilarious because, oh, the price is on here. Bias tape for 15 cents. Buttons for 15 cents. Isn't there something for, oh yeah, pearl buttons, 10 cents. <laughs> There's little rulers and stuff. This is the medium size with the um, handle on the zipper. And wait till you guys see the inside. The inside's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. The retro blue that just makes you want to go to the diner. Yes, it could not get any cuter. I love this bag. There will only be one in the shop, guys. And as always, the needle keeper. So. So cute. Got that on one of my fabric trips and I do have some other new fabrics that will also be being made into bags and will be up in the shop April 1st. Ooh. I've had a few requests for um, my large, large my large and my extra large sweater bags. So those particular fabrics are going to be um, made into large and sweater bags. So there's that. All right. Acquisitions. None. Okay. It's, Wrong. It's all on me. Well, we have two Fiverr shows coming up. Mm-hmm. And we, I had to save. Yes. April 8th, we will be at Yarncon. Yarncon. Uh, we do have an hour during that time that we will be doing a spinning class. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yes. And so that's Sunday, April 8th. And then Friday, April 4th. 13th, mm -hmm. we will be in Green Castle, Indiana for a fiber event there. So, lots of stuff going on in April. Yes. I mean, if we really wanted to push it, I believe the Ann Arbor 
Fiber Festival is on Saturday. Oh my gosh, no. We're doing enough. Like It's usually the week after Yarn, Yarn Con. isn't too far, but then um, the Indiana one, we are traveling like two hours and 42 minutes to get to it, so it is a little bit of a trip. We do plan on staying the whole entire day, though, um, making a day out of it, that sort of thing, visiting with a few friends, doing some shopping, obviously. You guys obviously. Know me. So I did buy the the one thing I did buy Donna's yarn from last month, and I believe it is in my glove box <laughs> in the car. Because why wouldn't it be there? Because you just stash yarn wherever. I I get the mail, and then like I pick up somebody, I don't want the yarn everywhere, so I just <laughs> I just put it in the glove box, maybe, or it's on the shelf already. This is my cube of acquisitions. <laughs> she did really good. Yes. Uh, well, here's the thing. Last time I didn't have much, and I've been trying to be really good. I've been doing better. But people do D stashes, <laughs> and then you just want to buy everything, and and the prices are they're just so good, good. and then things happen. <gasps> so one of the things I'm going to show, I can't actually show what my order was. I did a custom order, but um, she also sent something for me. I was like, oh, I hope you enjoy. Yes, Mary Jo, I'm gonna enjoy because I have been eyeballing these in your shop. But every time it seems like I order from there, I don't necessarily order for myself. Yeah. <laughs> so this is from the Crafting Tree House. And like I said, I did a custom order with her for somebody and I can't show those. Um, I will have that person post on Instagram once she receives them. But she sent these for me and they are so adorable. I've been eyeballing these. Look at the little sheep. They're so cute. They are adorable. And they're wood. So, let me... And they are... Crafting tree house. Very light. Etsy. Very lightweight. So, it's very <laughs> nice. Um, and then, the, these are also carved. Mm -hmm. So, it, it's... They're really, really nice. Yeah, we have some um, Knit for Brains Progress Keepers mm -hmm. that um, I had custom The Progress us. Keepers are amazing because mm -hmm. a lot of Progress Keepers get heavy and they tend to pull down the mm -hmm. item. Mm -hmm. Or when you get a lot of yarn going, your yarn is already heavy and then you got more Progress Keepers that are making it even more these heavy. Are really nice, lightweight. So Very lightweight. cute. She does custom orders. So, like, if you want something special on them or if, like, you want just, you know, certain words, whatever she, and she's really good. Like both times I've done a custom order with her. I do the, um, contact, um, seller through Etsy. And each time, literally within two minutes, she has responded to me. Like she is quick. She's on it. Yes. So, and yeah, I, I, I love these. Thanks so much, Mary Jo. And we've actually given away a set before yes. um, that she had sent us as I a prize. I feel like they were sheep. I think they were too because I wanted to keep them and I couldn't. Mm -hmm. So I was quite excited about this. <laughs> okay, and then I received another gift as well. Um, Lori from Arkansas Yarn Co. Special ordered me some mitten blockers from Knitting Left that go with that match my um knit for brain stock blockers from knitting left and they are adorable so they come with <clears throat> excuse me just like the giveaway ones they come with the little thumbs and you just have to tie them on there loosely because when you put your glove on then you'll you know finagle that and stick it into your thumb hole i just haven't tied them on yet i will I just received these this week. Um, I did use them to, to actually take a picture of something, uh, of a pair of fingerless mitts, which I didn't bring to show you. I did also finish a pair of fingerless mitts this week too. And the reason why I didn't bother bringing them in is because they were the same fingerless mitts, the same pattern, and the same yarn as what I made Alicia for Christmas. Yeah. So you guys had seen them already. Um, I should have thought to bring them in though so I could demonstrate the... Um, Mitten blockers, but I didn't think about it. I'm sorry. Um, I love these. So thank you so much, Lori. Knitting Left. If you have not checked out her shop, you really should. Um, she does all different designs. She does customs. Obviously, this was a custom order. I I'm, I'm thrilled to have these uh, to go with um, my sock blockers. And I still 
need to knit the um, Fast Fade Fingerless Mitts from Molly Klein to go with the cowl and the, and the hat that I made. So these will definitely be used um, when I do those. So you will be seeing them again. So, let me put my thumbs back in there so I don't lose them. <laughs> so yeah, that was a really nice uh, surprise. Yeah. It was so sweet. Love it. So that was that. Okay, then, which I don't have the goodies anymore because what happened was after we recorded, my husband said that nothing actually recorded. I had already started to put my stuff away. So with the package from Donna, Crystal Skies hand dyed, there was a stitch marker. A lightning bolt. A lightning bolt and um, a couple little candies and then my favorite hot cocoa. So this is from her Harry Potter Club, uh, the book club. This is book number one, spell number five, Snape's Spell. Page 285, she even puts. And let me just show you her card. This um, I ordered in the worsted weight this time. I got it on the fingering weight. I'm trying to switch it up a little bit because I do have a lot of fingering weight. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been trying, as you guys know, to build up like my worsted weight and my um, DK weight. I'm just kind of getting a few different bases in because it's always good to have, you know, a, a variety um in there so and this is beautiful as always donna did a beautiful job there's just so many different colors in there mm -hmm. of course i don't really know i'm gonna admit it you guys know it i don't know harry potter i always love the harry potter yarns though so yeah. that's what's funny so it you just really need, you just need to watch them really pretty I know you've said that you've watched a couple of them, but you just need to watch them because you're, um, you're not going to take time to read them. I think you I might have watched better. like the first and second or something. Mm -hmm. It was back when, you know, you were younger then. So I kind of had to sit you through it with you. The yeah. One. So, okay. D stash that I purchased. Stash, one of them, -stash. one of them I can't show because it is a gift for somebody. Two of them actually just got shipped out when we recorded the first podcast. <laughs> so I'll have those for next time. Okay, so it started off with hedgehog fibers. I got a, sing a skinny singles because I don't have singles. Like no. I have, I had some singles that I knit um, that sister shawl with. Mm -hmm. And um, that was about it. And that was about it. And I do have scraps of that. Um, of course, this one just kind of um, talked to me because it was uh, the color blue. And it is called Electric. Electric. This is really pretty. It's really funny that she sang that song the first time I showed this, and now she's singing it the second time I showed it. So that is a talk of my verse. <laughs> then I ordered Freckled Whimsy. It is Broken Strings. It is their Whimsy base, which is 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, 400 yards. And it has a lot of different colors going on. Green, blue, gray, and magenta. Now, some of these I'm not 100% sure if I will be keeping. Or giving. Or giving. Time will tell. Sometimes I know instantly when I see them, oh, this person needs that. Yeah. Because I do have a, um, quite a few knitters in my life that, <gasps> for birthdays, Christmas, whatnot, that um, are gifted yarn. Just like to say, I didn't yawn in a single should, time. Yeah, not once. Well, we are kind of getting later in the evening now as well, so. My nap has worn off. Um, my next one also is Freckled Whimsy. This one is called Keys to the Kingdom. It's also on the Whimsy base, which is 80, 20, and, and 400 yards. And it is gorgeous. I love that green. Well, that It's all like jewel tone. Yeah. Very, very pretty. That green. It kind of reminds me a little bit of my No Maker one, I have. Yes. I almost didn't get this one, but she marks them down a dollar every day when they don't sell. And once I get to a certain price, how can you resist? You can't. You can't. So there's that one. And then I got one for Alicia. Also hedgehog fibers. And first hedgehog fibers. It is villain. God, I love it. Had to get it, obviously. Obviously. Because so. it's just perfect for me. And I figured she would love it. I was going to save it for her birthday, but since she didn't have any acquisitions today, <laughs> I thought I would give this to her 
now and quite honestly it's not like she'll be lacking at her birthday i have plenty purchased for her as usual i have to so this one is for you thank you mama you're welcome and then all i have left is the um since i recorded it last me and my husband went thrifting twice so things happen when we go thrifting <laughs> So that was a beautiful in mitts. <laughs> I'm just like, head, mm, no. I'm like, mm, meh, meh. That would look really pretty in mitts. Okay, so I purchased a cone of cotton for just blocks. It is plain, but I also have colored cotton that, like, I could do stripes with it or mix it some way. Or even, I mean, a lot of people like just a, a plain, you yeah. know, would go with anybody's kitchen. Um, that's something I typically, it is Lion Brand Kitchen Cotton. <laughs> Not something I typically would, you know, rush to purchase, but I mean, it was sealed. It's a whole cone. It was cheap. I got it at a thrift store. I love a thrift store. Why not? So, it'll get used at some point. Yes. Because I do plan, I did start some um, dishcloths. I do plan on working on those here and there if I quit getting distracted. They're just because great Because they gifts. make uh, great gifts. They really do. For so. anybody, anytime. Yeah. So, that'll be getting worked on. One of the other things I got was kind of, it's not really per se knitting um, item, but I will be using it as a knitting item some way, somehow. I haven't really quite figured out what I'm putting in it yet. I just saw it and I thought it was really different and you guys know I have this thing for like roses and flowers and stuff. And I think it, it is beautiful. Look at the like the gold on there. And it is a little zippered case but what's a little different is yeah you could unzip it part way and stick stuff in there. But if you unzip it, like, it completely opens up flat. Yeah. So that was kind of different. I was a little intrigued by that. <laughs> I know it sounds a little silly, but, um, you know, why not? Why not? I will use it for something. And it's really pretty. Yeah. It's just very much to my taste. So there's that. So then I found some books. The first one, I'm going to put this off my lap again. I think I did this last time. Gosh. It's called Closely Knit Handmade Gifts for the Ones You Love. Hannah, what did we decide that was? Fetig. Fetig. Let me show you the cover. That's what I'm saying. And Two teas and you that. This I got from Savers on Half Off Day. Fetig. No, that would be And a it's got a section for mothers, daughters, sisters, men in our lives, we ones, and friends. And it's everything from hats to mittens to totes to, are you ready for this one? Juggling balls. <laughs> I saw that. So there's a lot of different patterns in there. Yeah, there, there's, um, I looked through it and there's some really Yeah, cute. there's some really cute ones. Um, a lot of really different, and we were laughing because this thing is guy, huge. He's, he's, <laughs> he is, he's very the round. Next, the next page there is a, a, show a girl holding, oh, there it is. And it's as big as she is. <laughs> that is definitely. It's called a cuddle size. bear, so I guess. You know. Well, so they need, they can cuddle it. Um, I thought there was something else in here that was, that you were like, oh, that's really cute. There's socks, pillows. Was it the baby pants? Blankets. Oh, yeah. There was these little baby pants in here. Let me see if I can find them. They got hard There's sweaters them. and vests in here. Like, you name it, it's in here. Uh, a little Even sweater with a kangaroo. The okay. kangaroo vest. So I, and it, that is... Leave a little kangaroo vest. How funny is that? Because who doesn't want to be a little roo? A little roo. But there's... Here they are. So when they crawl, the little there's little hands. hearts on their knees. Aren't they? That is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> little quack quacks. There's a little quack quack sweater. So I'm not saying I'm going to knit like anything out of this like instantly, but... Maybe one of them one day. Yeah. I mean, for what level I pay for them at the thrift store, honestly, yeah. um... If at some point I get such an abundance of books and it's not something that I will um, ever knit something from, there's always people out there um, that wouldn't knit something from it. I can always yeah. pass them on. So, I mean, so that was the first one. 
So then I got another one. It's called Knitting Rules. The Yarn Harlot unravels the mystery of swatching, stashing, ribbing, and rolling to free your inner knitter. Stephanie Pearl McPhee. That sounds so familiar, too. Mm -hmm. And then um, this one is more of a, like, reading book. Yeah. Um, and it has different, let me see if there's a thing at the, okay, so, like, contents, for instance. What is knitting? How does it get like this? Know your stuff. Gauge swatches, hats, socks, scarves, shawls, sweaters. How do not feel guilty about your yarn stash? <laughs> I know, right? So it kind of goes through a bunch of different things, and it's more of a um, knitting book. Yeah. Like that you would read. It's a lifestyle book. Um, ah, bringing your knitting to yeah. the movies, theater, or opera. That is hilarious. Boom. Um, Exercise. Yes. Obviously, swimming and jogging are going to be tough. But if you're but a on a stationary bike, I was perfect. about to say, I brought it on the stationary bike before. I can tell you a cautionary tale about avoiding knitting at a treadmill, but you might be smarter, smarter than I am. Mm -hmm. Many knitters have perfected walking and knitting. Remember to wear something with pockets to hold your yarn and stick to small, lightweight projects. There are three things to remember when combining exercise with knitting. Eyes front. <laughs> yarn caught in machinery can have consequences more dire than tangled yarn. <laughs> Knitting, no matter how fast you do it, doesn't qualify as a cardio workout. Yes, it does. So, and there's like <laughs> little tips and tricks and stuff. So, this is going to be something that I, I definitely sit and read. Um, and there's actually, as you can tell, a, a comedy factor to it as well. Yeah. Um, I do enjoy reading, so this will be something that I will definitely read. And, you know, if I think that somebody else will enjoy it, it will probably get passed on. I mean, the book was normally twelve ninety five. I paid 99 cents for it. Why wouldn't you pick it up? No. Okay, so there's that. And then the next one was just a little more of a, I was kind of curious. I probably could have just stood in the store and looked and saw, but, yeah. I mean, it was a quarter. So, it's a baby rings crochet book. And look at the way the rings are through the blanket. They've got it on the dress. And, you know, this little, I'm opposite, this little hoodie, like, you could do that in a neutral color, and it could be for a boy or a girl. And I just thought it was kind of, it was, it was different than anything I had ever seen before. Yeah. So I was just a little curious and for 25 cents, rather than standing there and like reading the pattern, <laughs> reading through, through the book, I went ahead and just picked it up and I can at some point or another browse through it at home. So, and see what it's all about. I just thought it was really different design. Yeah. It was very intriguing. And that little dress is beautiful. It's cute. Okay, so one more book. This one is Debbie Bliss number two. Okay, 10 designs for adults and children. And there's some nice stuff. And there this. is some really, really cute stuff. So this was a good picture that I can show you of the little kid sweater that has like the ducks and the sheep and stuff. But there was some really cute, let me see, we're gonna show you. We have, this one is from 2001. So that's like a man's sweater. It's a cardigan. Oh, that looks comfy. This one looks exceptionally comfy. <laughs> like that looks really, really cozy. It looks really cozy. That one we didn't care for. We have a lot of cables. Um just the cardigan style with the sheep and the, the duckies, which was really cute. This is like a moss tunic. Which I have it on a guy, but honestly, that's unisex. Yeah. I would probably never do this one, not saying that it's not pretty, but it it's looks beautiful. like a nightmare. It looks <laughs> beautiful, but I don't trust it color like work. So, so there's this one. So there was a lot of patterns in this book. Yes. Um, I thought there were, were, were really cute patterns. So this is a Fair Isle wraparound jacket. Okay, I would do that. And that's actually the one that's on the cover. 
sorry if we're boring you. I just thought maybe you'd like to see what was in it. So yet again, um, yeah. I actually got this um, at a different thrift store. And this one I only paid 79 cents for. Woohoo! And there was a lot of, a lot of patterns in there that definitely had potential. So I picked them up. Why not? So that's that. Let me just double check in my notes. I think we got nothing. That's all we have. My butt's worn out from sitting. Oh, um, I wanted to talk podcast. Podcast, yes. She's been watching a new podcast. I, well, I, she has one episode out, um, which I did actually watch within the first couple days it got um, put up. I've been running a little behind on some of my podcasts, I'm going to be honest with you. I did watch um, Girls in the Yard Cafe and Hurley's Hand Dyed. I'm almost all the way through it. I was watching when I was sewing. It's a little hard to watch when I'm sewing because um, once I get to the machine, you can't really hear things. So I tend to pause it and just when I'm pressing things or cutting things at the table, I, I watch then. Um, you've heard me mention her before. I love her yarn. Haley from Hales Be Handmade um, started a podcast. She has her first episode out and she did so good. Oh yeah, right, right here we've shown you. Um, Hales Be let's, Handmade. Let's show, show her a little card. So Hales Be Handmade. Haley, check her out. She has um, a new podcast. We actually have this um, this yarn out because we are make, planning something with it mm -hmm. in the future that you guys will be seeing. Um, she has beautiful yarn and it was so nice because like you purchase, you know, yarn or even if you're, you don't purchase from them, but you know, you follow them on Instagram, whatever. It was so nice to be able to put a face with the name. Yeah. So and she did such a good job. Um, it was so funny. She's like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, she did great. She really did. Um, it was it was very enjoyable. So I watched that this this time this week, and of course my usuals um, that I mentioned. You know, Girls in Yarn Cafe, uh, Cozy Up with the Stitching <gasps> Sisters. Love them. Um, just pur purchased another one of their patterns, um, which you guys um, should definitely check out. If you remember, I actually have it on the back of my chair here. If you remember my. My sister's shawl, the big one, with all the different things in it that was so interesting. They just came out with the um, My Sister's Cowl. I bought the pattern right away. <laughs> and it has parts of this, all these stitches, in the cowl. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful. They also came out with the My Sister's Socks, which I, for one, am so thrilled about because I was kind of waiting to see, you know, we knit our socks toe up. A lot of patterns are cut down, which, I mean, you can change. I just don't like the cast on. Sometimes you have, it, <clears throat> it's a, it, depending on what the patterning is, it can be more difficult to switch it. Um, the My Sister Socks are toe up, but they do give you instructions for cuff down as well. So that is on there. They they give you a hack. Well, yeah. Because they like to call them hacks. They're hacks. Um, and it has something very similar going up it as the zigzag lace, mm -hmm. but not quite the zigzag lace. It's a little bit easier. Um, so... I want to do those as well. I might do them. Yeah, I'm very excited. I, I really loved their pattern. I, I enjoy that one so much that I just want to knit all their patterns now. My very next one is going to be the Katie shawl, though, because I have that yarn picked out already. I am definitely going to get that done, and then I will do the My Sister's Cow. Yeah. Um, because I, I think I am going to absolutely love the cow, and I think that's going to honestly be something I actually wear. Yes. Like, I can just really see myself wearing that a lot. And that's saying a lot because I knit a lot of items. I don't wear a lot of items. No. I'll be honest with you. I enjoy knitting. Um, people ask me all the time what happens to the items I knit. I'd like to know. <clears throat> okay. They go in boxes and trunks. What Alicia likes usually goes to Alicia. <laughs> so what you see me wearing right now will go home with me. Um, 
Other items I actually plan ahead of when I pick it out. Oh, I know so-and-so will like this and it is set up outside for either their birthday or for Christmas. A lot of them are ones that I put aside for myself that I will wear to like yarn events. Mm -hmm. So I have choices as far as what outfit I'm wearing that I have choices to go with them. And then the rest of them do get put in a general gift box for when that random birthday Christmas comes up, I have selection to take from there. Yeah. So, um, I have been trying to wear my socks a few more times. I've been really um, bad. I maybe worn my socks like two or three times this winter. So I have actually worn a few of my socks, um, this year, which is very, Alicia will tell you is very shocking. Yeah. It's just like hugs. You don't see it that much. <laughs> She's such a depressed girl. She always got hugged. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Nobody else did. I'm just... Ew, germs. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't even think it's a germy thing. I just... I don't know. I've never really been a hugger. It's just... It's it's me, guys. I don't know. It's one of those things. No, the germy thing comes into, like, shaking hands. That wigs me out a bit. Saying hello to your neighbor at church. Yeah. Because I don't know where their hand's been. I don't know if they have a wart, <laughs> which you shake and you get a wart. Um... Things you really didn't need to know about me, right? <laughs> <laughs> it happens, guys. So, everybody has those little things. You know, it's a part of life. Some have more than others, but, you know, hey. That's what makes you who you are. Okay, so before we go, we're going to do a couple of really quick reminders for you guys. <sighs> had a thon until March 31st, so you got two more weeks to enter. <sighs> <sighs> knit those hats or crochet those hats whichever Whatever you, you do. like um there's some true superstars in there the ones that have like 10 hats done oh my goodness they're these ladies are not only whipping them out they're donating them to hospitals and charities and that that is great i mean wonderful 120 entries. That's awesome. That is great. Um, Minathon reminder starts April 1st. We will be doing a podcast either the day before or um, April 1st, whichever. We will um, put up something on Instagram to remind you guys. I will put up a chatter thread so you can start chattering. Um, maybe share some patterns, you know, that sort of thing. Can't wait. And then the last reminder is make sure you uh, join our giveaway on the Ravelry thread for the Molly Klein design patterns. Two lucky people are going to win a pattern of your choice. That's awesome. So, and I can tell you her patterns are very well written. Um, and they are patterns that are very easily understood. Yeah, nothing you're, too difficult. Yeah, you're not going to sit there going, what do I do? <laughs> I got to YouTube that, you know. Yeah. You will be able to make them through, make it through them, but yet you're going to end up with a really gorgeous product. Yeah. I've been happy with all, my, my fast fade beanie and Kyle came out gorgeous. So they're simple patterns, but they're, they're very pretty. Yes. Um, they're great fun knits. That's what I would say. So we will see you guys in two weeks until then. Bye. <laughs>